Hey there, and welcome to this HTML basics white belt training. In this video, we'll be talking to you about HTML definitions, editors, and finally, we'll show you the basic structure of an HTML web page. So let's start off by learning what HTML stands for and kind of what it is. Well, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And HTML is really nothing more than a text file. And a web browser is the application that reads these text files and displays them as a web page. Now, before we can write these HTML web pages, we need to use a text editor. And if you are on a Mac, you could simply use an application such as Text Edit. And you'll want to make sure that you save all these as plain text and then save it as .html. If you are using Windows, you can use Notepad. Uh, but we're going to show you an application that we commonly use around here, which is called Sublime Text. So let's go ahead and just do a Google search for Sublime Text. And if we do that, the first result, we'll see here that we're at sublimetext.com. And this is the text editor that we're going to use. And you can download it for OS X or for Windows or for Linux. So throughout these tutorials, this is the text editor that we will be using to create our HTML web pages and other videos. Okay, so after we have downloaded Sublime Text, or if we want to use the editor of our choice, we are now ready to create our first web page. So let's go ahead and start off by creating a new folder on our desktop. And I will just name this folder my first web page. And then I'm going to drag this folder into my text editor. And you'll see over here on the left, we have the folder. And then on the right is where we can start typing our text. So let's go ahead and create a new file. And I will save this as index.html. So whenever you want to create a new HTML file, you will save it with an extension of .html. So by saving this as .html, let's say that we save this file and just print it out, hello there. Now let's go back to that folder on our desktop and we can see that it looks like index.html. It recognizes that it's an HTML document. So we can double click it and we can open it up and that will open inside of our web browser. So this is great. It looks like we just created our first web page, but we actually don't have the correct syntax for an HTML web page. Of course it gets displayed, but it is just not the correct syntax for the, our browser being aware of what kind of file it is. It simply just prints out what's inside of this document. So let's go ahead and give it a proper HTML structure. So let's open this back up in our text editor. And I am going to start creating our first document. So I will call this doc type HTML. And this first line is saying that this document is of type HTML. So our web browser will understand that this is an HTML web page. So the next thing we want to do is we want to open up an HTML tag. And this is what it's referred to as a tag because you will do a less than sign, write in some text and then do a greater than. And once you open a tag, you will also need to close your tags. So the next thing that we can do is create the head of the document and we can give it a title and say my first web page. And then we will need to close this head tag and we will need to open up a body tag and close our body tag. And the body is where the content for our web page is going to live, where all the stuff gets displayed on the screen is going to live inside of our body tag. And this is the default structure of any HTML web page. From here on out, any HTML web page that you create will have this similar structure. So let's go ahead and create a paragraph tag and print out hello world. Okay, let's save this. And let's open this up again inside of our browser. So if we open it up, we get the same thing, except our web page has correct syntax and our browser can definitely know that this is an HTML document. And just like that, you can see how easy it is to create your very first HTML web page. And in the next video where you earn your second belt, we will learn about HTML tags, attributes, and elements. Hey there, my name is Tony and I'm the original creator of all the videos that you've been watching on the Dev Dojo YouTube channel. And I just want to thank you for subscribing or even watching this video. And I do want to take this time to let you know about a new platform at devdojo.com. And at Dev Dojo, you can learn premium lessons, series, and videos from web development, web design, and even tech in general. So I would encourage you to check it out and maybe subscribe to check out some of the premium videos, courses, and series.